Hey guys, it's the news we've all been waiting for. This video will take you through a detailed breakdown of Halo 4's progression system. As we all know, the UNSC Infinity is your gateway to the multiplayer experience in Halo 4 and serves as the centre of your Spartan career. Here you will build your custom Spartan 4 Super Soldier and progress your multiplayer career across both Spartan Ops and War Games modes. You will start your career as a Spartan 4 with a limited amount of choices. As you level up, that will slowly unfold into a large amount of choices. When designing the progression system for Halo 4, 343 Industries' primary goal was to give progress more meaning, and in order to do that, the player's progress had to impact gameplay. In Halo 4, the progression system will allow you to modify the weapons and abilities that you can take into battle. As you progress through your multiplayer career, you unlock items that allow you to build the character and experience you want. Popular items such as the Battle Rifle and DMR you'll gain access to fairly quickly. Some of the more difficult choices you'll face, such as which specialisation to tackle first, come later. How quickly you progress through your career will partly depend on your skill. Skilled players will rank up faster as you get more XP for winning matches. It's also worth noting that quitters do not get game completion XP, so if you're prone to rage quitting, you'll have a tough time ranking up. So then, let's kick things off with your Spartan 4 career. When you first enter Infinity Multiplayer, you automatically enlist into the Spartan 4 program and begin your Spartan career. This career spans all of your gameplay in War Games, Spartan Ops, Forge and Theatre. New Spartan 4 recruits are issued the following gear. Assault Rifle, Magnum, Frag Grenade, Recruit Armor, Emblem, Visor and Stance. Stances, as seen here, are a new customization option that let you select a pose for your Spartan on your player card. This card is seen in every multiplayer lobby in the game and is how your Spartan is identified outside of gameplay. You will have to rise up through the Spartan ranks to unlock more gear and make your way through the Spartan 4 program. Now let's talk about Spartan 4 ranks. Spartans begin their career in the base Spartan 4 ranks. There are 50 ranks to work your way through, from SR1 to SR50, unlocking gameplay and visual customization items as you rank up. To rank up, you need to earn XP. You earn XP by playing war games, playing Spartan Ops, completing each level of a commendation, completing challenges, using Forge. At each rank, you will earn one or more Spartan points. SP are used to purchase gameplay items for your personal loadout. Once you purchase an item, it can be used in any of your loadouts. The Spartan point system is based around offering choice at each rank. The full suite of gameplay items is available for purchase by rank 26, but you won't have enough SP to buy everything until rank 50. It's up to you to decide the order in which you want to build up the arsenal for your Spartan 4. Now let's have a look at the loadouts. Each loadout contains a primary weapon, secondary weapon, grenade, armor ability, tactical package and support upgrade. As you rank up you will gain access to the armor ability slot which can be accessed at rank 3, the tactical package slot which can be accessed at rank 7 and the support upgrade slot which can be accessed at rank 12. Over the course of the Spartan 4 ranks you also unlock 4 extra loadouts at rank 6, 14, 26 and 41 for a total of 5 loadouts. Loadouts. You can even rename these loadouts, so pick names that match the role for that particular loadout. I can't wait to hear some of the names people give their loadouts. And now for the visual customization. All Spartan 4 start out with the same recruit look. As you rank up, this is reflected in the look of your Spartan, which is visible to other players in gameplay and every multiplayer lobby. Visual customization items such as armor, armor skins, weapon skins, visors, emblems and stances are unlocked through several means. Earning a specific SR rank, earning a specific rank in a specialization, mastering a commendation and completing a waypoint goal. When you meet the prerequisite, you will gain access to these items automatically. You do not need to spend Spartan points. Now it's the moment you've all been waiting for, specialisations. Once you hit rank 50, you have the option to enlist in a new specialisation. You can choose which of the available specialisations to enlist in. Specialisations are composed of 10 levels each. As you rank up in specialisations, you will unlock new armour sets, emblems, visor colours, armour and weapon skins and armour mods, which provide even more options to customise your Spartan 4 to fit your preferred role on the battlefield. 
Once you commit to a specialisation, you have to complete it before switching to a new one, so be very certain in your choice before you make that commitment. It will take roughly as long to complete a specialisation as it does to go from rank 40 to rank 50, for example. All players have access to two specialisations at launch, Wet Work and Pioneer. The rest will gradually be made available in the months following launch. 343 will be keeping a close watch on player participation post-launch and will roll out the additional six specialisations when the player base reaches certain milestones. Purchasers of the limited edition have launch day access to the remaining six specialisations, although you still need to complete the initial 50 ranks before you can enlist in one. Other players will be able to see your overall progress through the specialisations by your SR rank. This keeps going up by one each time you earn a specialisation rank, all the way up to SR 130. 343 has revealed there'll be a special reward or two waiting for those who hit SR 130. Now let's talk about commendations. Halo 4 features over 120 commendations covering a wide variety of activities, per weapon, per enemy type and per game type for example. There are commendations based around earning specific medals and also aggregators that require you to master multiple commendations to complete them. Commendations also have a variable number of levels. Certain commendations can award visual customization items when you master them. To master a commendation you need to have earned its highest level. Level. 343 describes the commendation system as the long term progression with the most exclusive items. Most players will still be mastering commendations well after completing the specialisations. And last but not least, the challenges. Like commendations, challenges have been expanded in Halo 4. Not only is there daily content, but also a weekly and monthly goal as well, giving players ample time to complete different challenges with varying levels of difficulty. Challenges are divided into four categories as seen here. The campaign has two weekly challenges, War Games has two daily challenges, two weekly challenges and one monthly challenge. Spartan Ops has six challenges and Waypoint has exclusive daily challenges for war games. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. What are you guys most excited about? Personally, I love how 343 Industries has completely overhauled the progression system to allow players to really express themselves individually, both in the way they look and the way they play. No two Spartans will be the same, and the race to level up every specialisation will be intense. Halo 4 is shaping up to be the most exciting Halo game since Combat Evolved. It's got Game of the Year written all over it. Roll on November 6th. If you found this video useful, please thumbs up. It's only a click and it really helps me out. And if you haven't already done so, why not subscribe for daily Halo 4 videos? Thanks for watching.